All right, hey guys, so I'm just gonna kind of cover the color wheel sheet with our paints. So um, you should have gotten this color wheel sheet sent home with you along with a tray of paints and a paintbrush. So if you did not get this sheet, um, I do have one on Schoology that you could print off or um, look at it at least and then draw maybe draw it out really quick on a piece of notebook paper and paint it from there. Um, but you will need to do this. And you will notice that there are some questions that you will need to answer. So please fill those in with the correct answer. Um, if you go through the PowerPoint that is on Schoology, they basically give you the answers right up, right there. And actually, I'll give you the answer to the first one. What is color? Color is basically reflected light. So that could be your first answer. Okay. Um, so you will need to paint and fill in the color wheel here. You will need to fill in all of these boxes. Um, you will also need to fill in the boxes below as well. So the paints I gave you um, only are work if they are water activated. So you'll definitely need a cup of water. Go in and fill in all of the areas that are easiest first. So you obviously have regular yellow, so you can go in and, and add your yellow where it needs to be. Uh, primary is a yellow, or yellow is a primary color. If you look on these boxes here, um, to make green, you do need yellow. To make orange, yes, you do need yellow. And then violet, no. You do not need yellow to make violet. And then also you could do, look at your warm and cool colors. Is yellow a warm color or a cool color? Yellow is a warm color. So that would go here as well. So I kind of went around and did all where my yellows are gonna be first. Um, the thing with these colors, you have to mix the intermediate colors, the tertiary colors, because you do not have those on your paint tray. So my suggestion to you is to also paint, put yellow on here as well, on the yellow orange. And then when you move to orange, you will also cover it up with orange as well. You don't want as much paint much orange paint on your brush when you do that because you don't want to overpower it. So now we have that yellow orange on there. And then I can go back and just add more paint on my brush and make that next one that nice orange. So always start with the lighter color when you put it down on your paper. So I, like I started with yellow here and then I added the orange on top, but only a little bit of orange. So I got my yellow, yellow, orange, orange. So then I would also put orange here and then add the red on top. A little bit of red. Remember you don't wanna to get too crazy, not too much. If it's not changing colors, then you can keep adding. But what I wanna really see when you turn this in is that each eye piece is a different color and is the correct color. So that would be our red orange. So you can clearly tell the difference between these three next to each other. And then you're gonna go all the way around. Um, as you go, so I could put the red orange down here in warm colors as well. So just kind of look around where you would also need it. I do want you to paint over these three words as well. So I'd need my orange again and paint just over it like that for points as well. Okay, so you do that with all the way around, um, fill in all of the boxes. The only other one that we're gonna really cover is the monochromatic scale down here as well. You do have white and black in your tray here. <laughs> what you're gonna do is kind of pick a color that you wanna go with I'm just gonna go with green. 
and that color goes in the middle here. You might have to swish your brush quite a bit on these to get to pull the color up right away. Okay, so that color you're going to start with is going to be in the middle. <clears throat> and actually what you could do, especially for your dark areas, is put that green all the way across. And this really only works for this kind of paints here. If we're doing liquid paint, you wouldn't be able to go all the way across like this. You'd have to mix it before you put it on your paper. So I could go all the way across there, rinse my brush. I'm going to take my white. Make sure you pick up a lot. And you it'll be hard to see, obviously, because white on white paper doesn't work so great. And I'm going to fill this these three boxes in with white. Because you always want to start with that lighter color. And add green as you go. So your green should get lighter and lighter. Or if you start from this way, darker and darker. So do the best you can with this monochromatic. It's going to be a little bit difficult to do. And then fill in your boxes all the way as well. You can also try and go back and add more white on top to make it even lighter. So that would work too. And then for your black, be very careful. You don't want to get too much black right away. So this would be a good one right here. And then keep adding black. Ooh, see, I got way too much black there. So I'll have to add more green. Green on top of that. That got dark really fast. So then you should be able to see that it goes from light to dark here. So kind of play around with that a little bit. Um, once you have finished this, I need you to take a picture of it and upload it to Schoology under the Color Wheel Painting album. Just make sure you don't forget to fill in also the questions as well. So I believe this is just somewhere around like 25 points or so. So please do this. And then when you're done with this, um, go to your Pop Art Painting Project.